Good morning, everyone. Okay, my uh, topic for today is uh, about species diversity for quarter uh, four, module four. Okay, this module will introduce the concept of species as a fundamental unit of biodiversity and taxonomic hierarchy. It further discusses the biological concept of species and it lets you discover the importance of species diversity in maintaining the ecosystem balance. Okay, what I know. So for the free test, you're going to select the letter of the correct answer. One, our Earth is consists of species diversity, wherein it is composed of many different types of organisms. What is the importance of species diversity in the environment? A. Species never interconnect with in environment. B. Species interact with its environment and thus perform certain functions. C. True species interacts with the environment. It does not play any functions. D. Species minimize interaction with its environment and thus perform certain function. Two, how is ecosystem directly affected if species diversity is increasing? A, it only increases the productivity of an ecosystem. B, it increases the efficiency and productivity of an ecosystem. C, it does not increase the efficiency and productivity of an ecosystem. D. It increases only the efficiency and not productivity of an ecosystem. Three, why is biodiversity important to ecosystem? A, it increases at its level of the food chain. B, it helps population adapt to ecological changes. C, it reduces the number of insects in a given ecosystem. D, it allows animal to feed permanently from one type of plant. Four, which of the following scenario will lead to decreasing species diversity? A, conserving the forest area. B, decreasing in human population growth. C, converting agricultural areas to industrial. D, decreasing of pollution caused by industries. Number five, if you were to take account of the diversity of species in your place, what would you be measuring? A, biodiversity. B, genetic diversity. C, habitat diversity. Or D, species richness. Okay, so what I know, true or false. One. Biological species concept defined the species as a population or a group of populations whose members have the potential to interbreed in nature and, produ and produce viable as well as fertile offspring, but are not able to breed with or produce viable offspring with members of another species. Okay, just the right, true or false. Two. Biodiversity in an ecosystem includes only species diversity and ecosystem diversity. Number three, the picture on the right side shows high species evenness. Okay, right, true, or false. Okay, what do you think is the meaning of species? A species has been defined in different concepts based on their genetic composition. Okay, then based on morphological characteristics, based on adaptation to the environment and ancestral descendants. It is a group of organisms that can interbreed with others of the same type and can produce fertile offspring. Individuals within a species possess similar anatomical characteristics. Okay, for your activity one, species or not? Answer and explain your reason. Case one, is a liger a separate species from the lion and tiger? Species or not? Note, a liger is the offspring of a female tiger and a male lion. Nagkaroon ng interbreeding ang dalawang nilalang. Next, number two. Is a wolfin a separate species from the dolphin and the killer whale? Species or not? Note, wolfin is a rare 
Get a Saiyan hybrid born from a mating of a female common bottlenose dolphin with a male false killer whale. Okay. Case three is the mule, a separate species from the horse and donkey. Okay, species or not? Note, a mule is the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse, babaeng kabayo at lalaking donkey. Okay, next, activity number two. Count me in. Fill in the table and answer the questions. Look at this illustration below. It shows two different communities of a tree. Community one and community two. Okay, answer the table using the given image above. Write the species of trees present in its community and count the number of its species. The, here are the guide question. How many species of trees present in community one and two? Okay, please count the number of species. Two, which of the two communities is more diverse in terms of the number of species of trees? Community one or community two? Okay, question number three. Which of the two communities has even and uneven distribution of species? Okay, so what do you think is this definition of species or the species definition? Okay, species, according to biological concept, this is the wide, widely used definition for species. Proposed by Ernst Mayer in 1942, a species is a population of individuals that can actually or can potentially breed with its other in nature to produce fertile offspring. They are considered of different species if they cannot breed together or if they breed together and produce infertile offspring, meaning offspring that cannot have their own babies. An example of this is, okay, a female horse, babaeng kabayo, with the scientific name of Equus caballus, and the male donkey, Equus asinus, okay, they interbreed, and then the resulting offspring is the mule. That is an example of a species according to biological concept. Okay, next, biodiversity. Biodiversity from the words biological and diversity. Okay, refers to the variety of life in a particular habitat or ecosystem. There is an interaction of living and non-living things. Like, for example, okay, um, in a farmland, okay, there is a farmer, uh, uh, lots of organisms there. For example, the carabao, cows, reptiles, piglets, pigs, horses, insects, etc. living in a farmland. So, we call it a farmland or rice field ecosystem wherein the variety of life in a particular habitat is having an interaction. Okay, it comprises of three levels. Okay, the three levels are ecological diversity. Okay, it refers to the variety of habitats living in communities and ecological processes where organisms live and their interconnections. Okay, and number two, we have this genetic diversity. Okay, genetic diversity refers to the diversity of the genetic characteristics within a species. Okay, and then uh, the last uh, is the species diversity. It refers to the number of different species present in an ecosystem and relative abundance of its of those species. Species diversity. It is divided into two components, namely species richness. It refers to the number of different species present in an ecosystem, for example, okay, in the marine habitat or the marine ecosystem, there are lots of a uh, number of uh, opices. For example, okay, you have here uh, galungong, shrimps, the uh, different kinds of marine organisms. But if you're going to count the number of assorted or various species present in that certain ecosystem, okay, it is referring to species richness. Mayamang kasadami ng mga species na nandoon sa lugar na yun. Okay, when it comes to um, species evenness, 
it refers to the relative abundance of individuals of each of those species. High evenness leads to greater specific diversity. Okay, yung sinasabi nating abundance of individuals of each those species. For example, naninirahan sa certain ecosystem, forest ecosystem, isang daang unggoy, isang daang sawa, limampung igel, dalawampung tagak, sampung tiger, okay, relative abundance of individuals na ang bawat species na, binibil, na mabibilang natin, yun ay matatawag natin species evenness. Okay, and that is the uh, difference between the uh, two. Okay, and what is the importance of species diversity? Maintaining high species diversity will lead to more efficient, productive, and sustainable ecosystem. Okay, here is the importance of species diversity. Okay, bakit daw mahalaga? Pagkakaroon ng napakaraming uh, uri ng nilalang sa isang lugar. A more diverse ecosystem has greater ability to withstand environmental stresses. High species richness makes an ecosystem able to respond to any disaster. And the third, rich diversity is important for the survival of mankind. Okay, how I am going to explain this um, first uh, sentence. Okay, kung diverse daw ang ecosystem mo or mas maraming nilalang ang naninirahan, mas matindi ang, ang kakayahan nito na malabanan ang mga nakaka-stress na pangyayari sa kapaligiran, environmental stresses. Like for example, yung mga, mga smoke na naamoy natin na sobrang uh, nakaka-hindrances sa ating kalusugan. Okay, this is uh, about this high species richness makes an ecosystem able to respond to any disaster. Nagagawa niyang tumugun sa mga disaster na nagaganap sa kapaligiran kung ang species mo ay talagang marami. Okay. And this rich diversity is important for the survival of mankind. Meaning, okay, ang mankind or mga sangkatauhan, dere-derecho pa siyang masusurvive or mabubuhay. It is because of this rich diversity. Okay. Another importance of species diversity. Healthy biodiversity has significant benefits like nutrient storage and recycling, soil formation and protection from erosion, absorption of harmful gases, climate stability. Okay, pollinators, symbiotic relationship, decomposers, its species perform a unique role which is irreplaceable. Okay, katulad ng mga bees. Di ba silang nagka dahil lang kaya nagkakaroon ng mga nagkakaroon ng pollination sila ang mga pollinators. Okay. Another importance is diversity in large numbers help in large scale interaction among organisms such as in the food web. Okay, di ba siya food web is the interconnected food chain. This one is a large scale interaction na sa pagitan ng mga organismo na akan ng halimbawa is this food web. Okay, apart from this naman, there are other benefits such as recreation and tourism, education and research. Okay, so for activity 3, answer me, explain the concept. Okay, explain the biological concept of species. Give one example to support your explanation. Okay, here should be the one to uh, explain the biological concept of the species. Magbigay ka ng halimbawa para masuportahan mo yung iyong paliwanag. Okay, number two. Give one situation that shows high species richness but low species evenness. Okay, so magbigay ka ng isang pangyayari na nagpapakita na sinasabing high species richness pero low naman ang species evenness. As I have said, pag sinabing high species richness, maraming uri ng nilalang. Pero pag sinabing low species evenness, marami nga ang uri ng nilalang. Ay ilan naman ang bilang, for example, isang kabayo, isang kalabaw, isang baka, isang aso, isang pusa. Okay, yun yung evenness. Okay, for your activity 4, 
enumerate five ways of activities to maintain high species diversity. Magbigay kayo, mag-enumerate kayo ng limang paraan to maintain, para ma-maintain na ninyo or mapamalagi ang sinasabi nating high species diversity sapagkat nga alam na natin na ito ay napakahalaga. Okay, assessment. Your assessment is uh, consists of post-test and multiple choice. Okay, for assessment number one, what concept of species you are using if you see two organisms that are closely of the same physical appearance and are capable of interbreeding? Number two, what level of biodiversity is most commonly equated with the different kinds of organisms? Number three, which of the following choices correctly describes the biological concept of species? Okay, number four, which of the following explains species richness? Okay, number uh, five, why is biodiversity important to ecosystem? Okay, number six, which of the two communities is species richness greater? Community A with the 50 species that can be found equally within 10 kilometer radius of the area of community. Or community B is spread across the same, the same area that has 50 species. About 5% of the individuals are very rare species. Okay, number seven, what do you call the variety of different kinds of organisms in a community? Ano daw kaya ang tawag mo sa maraming uri, maraming klase ng iba-ibang kinds of organisms, iba-ibang uri ng organismo doon sa isang komunidad. Okay, next. Okay, based from the question number eight, which of the following community has the highest species evenness? Okay, number nine. Question number nine, using the same information in number eight, which of the following community has the low species evenness? Number 10, look at the picture. Which of the following statement is true? Okay, that would be all for today. And I thank you.